Welcome to the inner sanctum of the Dungeon of Doom. Yeah, I've I've been to your office before. Oh, you have? Oh, I'm sorry. You, you all look really similar. I'm the accountant, and I've got the numbers for this quarter. Oh, great. Outstanding as usual, I assume. I'm afraid not. Uh, we've had a lot fewer customers over the last few months. Really low treasure turnover. Lots of complaints. And Dungeon of Doom now ranks second behind Dragon's Maze. Wait, what? Hey, no, come on. That, that's ridiculous. Our dungeon is so much better than stupid Dragon Maze. Not according to numbers. Or opinions. They just opened. We've been here for years. We're a staple of the community. Grandmothers warned their children not to come here. It's like our best marketing strategy. Well, Dragon's Maze appeals to a younger crowd. It draws them in with the promise of wealth and glory. And then crushes it. We do that too. We have spikes and skeletons and collapsing bridge traps. Those aren't traps. They're just old. Old things are scary and deadly. Yeah. And adventurers aren't really looking for scary and deadly anymore. They want to go to a dungeon they think they can beat. So what? You're just telling me that nobody wants to come to the Dungeon of Doom anymore? There have been some complaints. I haven't heard any. Yeah, the customers don't usually make it to you. But I've overheard things. And they say that we don't keep enough loot in stock, that the rooms are too unpredictable, that the save points need cleaning. The point of a dungeon is to be hard to get through. Yeah, but with greater challenge, they expect greater reward. Otherwise, it's not worth risking their life. I had somebody ask about price matching. How would you feel about that? Price matching? What, what is that? Like, if Dragon's Maze has the same room in their dungeon that we do, but with more treasure. We add treasure to ours until they're even, and that makes us competitive again. That is literally the stupidest thing you've ever said. What happened to all the brave, manly adventurers who would risk it all for one enchanted sword? They died. Look, I'm not gonna stoop to their level. You were a customer here once, is it really that bad? Well, it wasn't the greatest experience, because I died. And then you brought me back to life to work here. Oh god, can you go one day without talking about that? Actually, while we're on the subject, Things suck for the people who work here, too. Come on, you've gotta be kidding. There are workplace hazards everywhere. They're traps. You work in a dungeon. Then we should at least get workers' comp or health insurance. No insurance in the world would cover you, and I wouldn't pay for it if it did. You're already dead anyway. What could happen to you? Well, what about everyone else who isn't undead? I only employ undead. Then that's discrimination. No, it's not. I'm running a creepy dungeon. I hire skeletons and ghosts and crap like that. It's on theme. Dragon's Maze offers equal opportunity employment to all monsters, which means its adventurers get a diverse group of employees to fight. Plus, they have newer, fancier traps, more treasure, and optional, adjustable, difficulty levels. That is just obscene. If you want to stay competitive, you're going to have to make some changes. I have a better idea. How about I keep doing exactly the same thing and we rebrand as the dungeon that isn't for pansies? I wouldn't advise it, but you're the boss. We'll get started on the renovations. What are we calling the new place? Hmm. Dark Souls. Ta-da. If you like the sketch, you might like Boss Monster, the game, the card game about a video game that we made a video about. You play as a guy that runs a dungeon and kills adventurers, and so does everybody else, and you try to compete to see how many adventurers you can kill. We are not sponsored by them in any way, we just enjoyed the game and wanted to make a video about it, and it inspired us to make a Door Monster themed card game that we are currently working on and plan to do a test game of on our Twitch channel which is twitch.tv slash doormonstertv. So you should go there, follow us, and you'll get a notification on when we do that.